Hey, it's Danny from Cultures Calisthenics here. So this is my last few hours in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which I'd come to for a visa run. I've done a couple of vlogs that will be coming up very soon. So if you want to be notified when they're uploaded, then make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you if you do not follow the specific details that I've just mentioned to you. So make sure that you do follow them. So, I wanted to share with you that I am actually going to be meeting my ex-girlfriend, Nock, who I recently, well, had broken up with and had announced through this YouTube channel that we had ended the connection due to a variety of different reasons. And yeah, the colours are going a bit weird now, but yes, yeah, because all the light keeps changing. And this was not something I had expected because quite a few days ago, Nock shared to me that she felt that we had to seize talking in any way shape or form online because yeah she's now in a completely different location to me which I mentioned in the video recently and she just had a lot of stuff come up for her emotionally you could say a lot of different emotional triggers as a lot of people would call them and she's just finding that it was very very overwhelming for her and she stated to me that she thought it would be easier for her to move through her process that she needed to after we had broken up so yeah due to those reasons i'd obviously not expected us to be seeing each other whatsoever and we had actually planned this trip together that i'm on now but she didn't come with me because she feels that she just wanted to move on with her life and just get on with what she needed to and that it would be easier for her to not be with me she thought it'd be way 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 more challenging for her to spend more time with me and then leave so she left sooner than she'd expected and then we were meant to go to Chiang Mai Thailand together which I've lived at a lot of time throughout the year in Thailand and today is my flight to Chiang Mai and yesterday I was like hmm actually I don't want to go there it's bringing up a lot of emotions for me we we're meant to spend time there together uh, well Chiang Mai is right next to Pai where she is so it's not that far away, it's about three hours away. And I'm actually gonna put my bag down because my bag is really, really heavy. It's full of so much equipment for editing videos and making videos and so on. And yeah, this place is really, really lovely. It's hard to find nature places in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. There seems to be fences everywhere, even when there's grass areas that you're not allowed to sit on. Many times we sit on floors at places in shopping malls, at other places we get told off. Or even yesterday I was in a shopping mall, I was running, and they said, hey, you can't run in here. And I'm like, oh, you've got to be joking me. It seemed very strict for many different things. But anyway, back onto the topic of the video. So, due to it feeling very intense for me emotionally of focusing upon going to Chiang Mai Thailand and her not being with me, it just brung up so much more of a desire for me to see her. And yeah, it's been a very intense process for us to go through what we're going through recently with this separation because we still love each other, we miss each other, there's so many good things in connection and yeah there's some things that haven't been working but as a whole the connection is really really good. So I am emailed her because it's the only way I can contact her because we blocked each other on Instagram, Facebook and so on because she said she wanted that done so that's what we started to go in the direction of doing quite a few days ago which was very upsetting for me, it's just not the most ideal thing to happen but I understand understood even the reasons why she needed to do that so I was like okay I will respect your boundaries and give you what you want so email is the only last form of us interacting with each other and I said to her yesterday as I was going to book another flight back to where I live I said I'm going to skip the other flight and book another flight are you sure you're 100% don't want to meet me in Chiang Mai when I go there and she actually got back to me and said if you come to Pi, I'm more than happy to see you and spend quality time with you as long as you want to spend time with me and so on. And I said, well, I've got to travel on for, with multiple different taxis, trains, boats, planes already, and then traveling there, it's just going to add about another eight hours onto my trip. And she was like, well, I don't really want to come to Chiang Mai. And then she explained in the end through us sending emails back and forward, even if she want to come to Chiang Mai, she can't really afford it at the moment because her business, which is her restaurant, has been in the non-peak season recently. So she hasn't been earning much money. So I said to her, okay, I'll pay for all your travel, accommodation, everything else while you're with me and coming to me and back and forth. And then she said, okay, well, I will come. 
to Chiang Mai, Thailand. So she is going to be meeting me there. And when she said she was gonna, I was like, I did not expect that because she didn't really want to be interacting with me and just various other things that had happened recently. It's just, it's, yeah. We've really gone in a direction of really, really separating our connection as much as possible, not just in our intimate connection, but even as a friendship connection as well. So, yeah. You just never know what's around the corner in life. Life can go one way and then it can go another way. You think you know what's going on and then something happens. So I am very happy and excited about this because yeah, it's something that I really, really massively desire. I also am aware spending time with her is gonna bring up loads of good emotions for me, but it's, make, it's gonna make me not wanna leave her. And it will bring up more upsetting emotions when I go to leave her and when I've left as well. And for anyone wondering if we're getting back together, not what we are aware of, maybe we will, maybe we won't, who knows. Again, could just be one of those things that could happen. <laughs> Someone I'm with, Jin, is over there. It's here, and her son. Um, they met me here in Kuala Lumpur because they're doing a visa run at the same time. I've loads of doing, done some fun things together, such as come to this amazing nature place. So, yeah, we just see, well, we will see what happens. We're going to spend a lot of quality time together, do things together that we enjoy to do together. I haven't got any plans for anything specifically, but I am going to be meeting her in about five hours or so because we've got to get the plane there. She's going to be waiting at the hotel that I've booked for us. And then we connect a bit and then we go out and eat and do whatever we want to do. And yeah, it's going to be a fun little time together. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay there. Three, four, five days, who knows. But around that range of time period. So yeah. <laughs> Life is good. Everything's all right. And it feels good within my heart to be meeting her. Yeah, and we see what it brings up for us. And anything that she needs to share with me, anything she needs to process, I'm willing to hold a safe space for her here, her fully. And I think it'd be good for us because it's going to help us both process a lot of things that are unprocessed. And we'll be able to like fully voice certain things that haven't been voiced. And be heard fully, have that safe space held for us. So yeah, it's gonna be a really good time with her, but a really good time for us to process certain unprocessed things that really need processing. And then we see what happens from there. Maybe I'll go to Chiang Mai, and I love Chiang Mai so much, and it will bring up such a desire after seeing her for me to actually move to Chiang Mai, because yeah, if I go there and I love Chiang Mai again, and it feels right for me to be there, then I would be moving there and then we more than likely could be together because one of the issues was a location issue. We don't want to be so far away from each other. Long distance connections is just not what we're looking for whatsoever. So I'll keep you updated and it's not long till I need to go and get the high speed train. So I'm gonna enjoy my time with my friends and have some relaxing the nature a bit. Eat some food as well. I actually got some dragon fruit in here. They are a big round pink purple ball that makes you get so so uh, messy and yeah this trip has been really really fun it's been nice to actually meet someone here that I know and actually do things together because I normally come here and I'm on my own and yeah we've been eating so much durian the durian buffet called the SS2 which is one of the most famous durian buffets in the world we had a Musang King durian buffet which Musang King is a specific variety of Musang King. It's one of the most highly prized and highest priced varieties that you can get in the world. And we ate so much and she'd never tried it before and she really, really loved it. We've got a person sweeping there. We don't like sweeping on camera. I don't think you'd appreciate it either. And yeah, we've been to the shopping malls. I've got some nice clothes at H&M. I don't like wearing branded clothing whatsoever. I find H&M is one of the best places to find unbranded clothing in. I like when I go to sports shops, you're just basically paying for clothing to have a brand on it and they're getting free advertisement from you and you're literally paying for them to advertise on you. Like this top. But this top, I actually work with this company. So obviously, I want to promote them. And yeah, if you want to check out this clean machine, fitness nutritional supplement company they sell some of the cleanest fitness nutrition supplements they help you optimize muscle growth and any weight loss 
that you are trying to gain and maintain the results and also improve your sports performance and reduce recovery time if you're interested in them i put links down below for the company and put a 20 30 percent discount down below that you can use that is just for my audience only and i actually use these supplements and i absolutely love them so that's it from me if you have any questions leave them down below if you like the video like it down below don't forget to share this video with others that you think might want to hear about what i've talked to you today in regards to me unexpectedly out of nowhere going to see knock and spend some quality time with her which i'm really looking forward to so yeah don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on many different topics so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace